You have your notes? Ready? Okay. So, if I wanted to multiply 620 times 15, right? Some of you are struggling with this. So I'm going to show you a different way of multiplying this and getting the same answer. And we're all going to try it. And then if you like it, go ahead and use it. If you don't, you're like, I'm okay with this one. That's fine. You can go back to it. So some of you learned this in elementary school. Okay. So we're going to put the 620 on the top. And we're going to build a rectangle or a square around it. Excuse me, Joe. Then we're going to put the 15. It's not a generic rectangle. It's called the, uh, you, uh, it's a lattice way of multiplying. The generic rectangle you also learned in sixth grade. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so we divide it up. But this is what's different. You divide each of these in half on a diagonal. Okay? So instead of doing it this way, you're doing it this way. And for those of you who struggle with multiplication, pay close attention because this might actually be so much easier for you. Okay? So if you know who you guys are who struggle with this, this might be helpful. So here we go. You take these two numbers and you multiply them together. What's zero times one? So this would be your tens place, and this is your ones place. So it's zero, right? Zero, zero. What's zero times five? Zero. Zero. Okay? So multiply zero times one, you get zero. Zero times five, you get zero. Okay. Now we're going to multiply two times one. Okay, two. Is that number two in the ones or the tens place? So this is the ones place, and this is zero. Because you're writing your answer with like 0, 2. This square means 0, 2. Okay? Now, what's 2 times 5? So we're going to write it here. Now, my answer is 10. So the 1 is in the tens place and the 0 is in the 1's place. So we divide it up. We put the 1 on top and the 0 at the bottom. So that's 10. Follow me so far? Again, for those of you who struggle with this, this might be easier. Now, what's 6 times 1? So we put the 0 here, because there's no 10, and then the 6 here. What's 6 times 5? Three. So what number goes here? Three. The 3. What number goes here? Zero. 0. How many of you did this in elementary school? Okay, interesting. Okay, because my first period, half of them learned it this way. They don't use it, but half of them have learned it, which is interesting. Oh, okay. Now, this box shows you the answer to 6 times 1, 0, 6. This box shows you the answer to 6 times 5, 30. But we don't write our whole answer in a box. We separate it, okay? Now, here's how you get your final answer. You add this. We get 0. Then you add this. What do you get? 0. Then you add this. 3. Then you add this. Nine. 9. Then you add this. Okay, what's my answer? 9, 3, 0, 0. Okay. Let me do it the traditional way. 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 2, 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 is 31. Add the placeholder 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 6 is 6. Now I'm going to add this. 0, 0, 3, 9. Same answer, right? Just different strategy. Some of you might like this. I like that. Okay. All right. Let's try it both. One more. Okay. Let's try 743 times. Let's try 58. If you like it this way, go ahead. I want the traditional way. Now, for those of us who are willing to try this, let's try it.
So we divide it up, right? Now, what's 3 times 5? So you put the 1 on top and the 5 on the bottom. Do you see the 15? Yeah. What's 5? What, I'm sorry, what's 3 times 8? 24. 24. Can you use your multiplication table and find 3 times 8? Yes. So then you write 2 and the 4. What's 4 times 5? 24. Put the 2 and the 0. What's 4 times 8? 32. 32. Again, can you use your multiplication table? Yeah. Yes. What's 7 times 5? 3 and then the 5. What's 7 times 8? 56. Could you use your multiplication table? Yes. Now to get our final answer and to see if the people who did this got it right, let's add. So you add a diagonal. That gives you just 4. Now we add this diagonal. That's, yeah, 9. Good. Add this diagonal. 10. So what do you do? You put the 0 and you carry the 1. What's this diagonal? 12. With that 1? 13. Carry the 1. What's this diagonal? 4. Okay, so what's my answer? 43094. Now let's check for those of you who did the traditional way. It, the, for those of you who did the traditional way, did you get 43094? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. 24 carry the 2, 32 plus 2 is 34, carry the 3, 56, 59, 0, 15, 1, 21, carry the 2, 35, 37, 4, 9, 10, 1, 12, 13, 1, 4.